today we're going to be talking about how to properly clean in the kitchen. So don't forget, the first thing you need to do when you come in is grab your apron. Once you've got your apron on, your next step is to wash your hands. So this is our hand washing station. So it's really important that we get our hands nice and clean, ready to cook. So step one, we get suds on our hands. Next we get running water, and now we're washing our hands. Now it's really important that you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. So you want to wash between your fingers, backs of the hands, and especially around your nails, because that's where bacteria like to hide. So give them a good wash. Really good rinse. And then you're done. Okay, next step of course is to dry your hands. Now for this, you simply need one piece of paper towel. And you give your hands a really good dry. Again, trying to get in between your fingers. And that piece of paper towel is very wet, but that's all you need, just the one, and now your hands will air dry. Once you've finished cooking, it's important to wash your dishes. Now you'll find that we've got two tubs, one with clean, one with dirty. So you come to the clean tub, and you need to grab yourself a dishcloth, so this is used for washing your dishes, and you also need a tea towel, which gets used for drying your dishes. Now to be sustainable, pretty much we want to try and just use the one tea towel uh, and to do that you need to make sure you drain your dishes and we'll talk about dish washing right now. Alright, so it's really important now to get water in your sink and this water needs to be hot. So hot soapy water is the key. So underneath your sink you'll find some detergent and you'll find a plug. So plug in your sink, get that hot water going. Sudsy water, now you don't need too much. That is plenty. Okay, so hot soapy water. Now we're good to go. So when you're finished with your dishes, it's really important that you stack them in a nice neat pile, uh, ready for washing. Now remember, we have our dishcloth. This is used for washing dishes. So it's important that when you're washing your dishes, you go from the cleanest dish first through to the dirtiest dish. So it's really important to assess which, uh, which dishes have the most food on them. So we wash our dishes. It's really important that we rinse dishes as well. Now when it comes to knives, knives never live in the water. You always sit them outside of the water next to the sink. Now when you're washing your knife, you always need to make sure that you're washing with the uh, non-sharp side towards the back of the hand. So we wash our knife, and again, rinse. Okay, our next pot now, we wash, rinse, and with dishes, it's really important, I talked about draining, that we put our dishes upside down to drain, so that way your tea towel won't be as wet and some of that water can actually drain off them. Now lastly, we've got our dirty pots and pans, they're going to be the last thing that we wash. These things might need a bit more of a thorough cleaning. So this is where we're going to need some steel wool. So under your sink, you'll find steel wool. Alright, so we get our pan in here, and we really use that steel wool to wash off any built up food that might have been sort of cooked onto the pan. So once that is clean, again we give it a rinse. We put it upside down to drain. 
Okay, the last step now, of course, is to dry our dishes and make sure that we get things in the correct place. Drying knives, it's the same process as washing. You never have the sharp part of the knife or the blade of the knife pointing down towards your hand. Once you've dried them, they go straight into the drawer in the correct place. Again, sharp knife, back edge of the knife. Always try and dry your dishes in the order that you wash them, because obviously they will have drained a little bit more than the ones that have just been washed. Make sure they're nice and dry. Well, the last step now, once you've washed your dishes, is to make sure that you've cleaned down your bench. So we can use our hot sudsy water to wipe down our bench. It's also important to make sure that we wipe down our sink and any surrounding of the sink as well. It's also important to make sure that we wipe down our stove top as well. Now of course if you've used the grill it might be that you need to wipe the grill tray out. So once we're done we can now let the water out of the sink. Using our dishcloth again, we will rinse out our sink and give it a wipe down. We can now use our tea towel to give our sink a dry down to make sure that there's no water around the sink. Wipe like can go away. So as you can see, the sink now is nice and dry and it's ready for the next class to use. As you know, each kitchen has its own particular colour and that colour can be determined by the colour of the spoon hanging above the sink. So at the moment we're in the green kitchen. Now, when you get to the green kitchen and once you've finished cooking, it's really important that we get things back in the right place. So on the inside of the cupboard, you'll notice there's a list of what equipment should be on each shelf of the cupboard. So it's important that you check that that equipment is there. But it's the same deal with the drawers as well. In the drawers, you'll notice that there's a list of equipment. And the idea is that the equipment needs to go in that drawer in the order as it's listed. Starting with hook's knife to the left, across to our skewer on the far right. Finally, in this drawer we have our pots and pans and again in here you should have three different size saucepans, uh, a fry pan and a wok. Right, after a great day of cooking, it's now time to put these into the dirty tea towel box. So it's important that we make sure that they go in the correct one and you're all done.